Okay, um, I think we can resume. Can we, uh, Mas Ari, shall we yeah. resume? Okay, we're still um, quite way down in terms of the numbers of participants. Okay, one of uh, the presenters have just joined and I would like to um, welcome um, Alexander, who's you know, a good friend of mine from Germany. And Alex, would you like to say hello to the participants? And yes, hello. Good morning. Morning, sir. Good morning from Germany. Wait, I can't see uh, you, Alex. Yeah, well, I open my camera now. Okay. I already can see. You. <coughs> Selamat, <coughs> Selamat pagi, Alexander. Yes, Selamat pagi, everybody. <laughs> I hope you have a very good opening conference. Yeah. Did you just wake up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wake up. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, are, you, are you going to stay on for the rest of the? Yes, sure. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, and I should point out to the participants that um, Alexander is like me, an anthropologist, and he's going to speak on peace cultures and peaceful peace culture and peaceful cultures uh, later on. Uh, wow. In the course. So, Interesting, Dr. Uh, Cross. Yeah, so we, and he has worked in various parts of the world, including oh. uh, Southern Thailand and Myanmar. I should be the, you should be introducing yourself, Alexander, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, so. so what we shall do now uh, is that we will introduce each other. And the best way to do this, I, I can't think of any other better way, but perhaps you can. But what I was thinking is that each one of us just say a few words about yourself, uh, your, you know, introduce yourself. And then um, we can, um, you know, this, what I, I suggest is perhaps after you've done that, then you pick someone from the list to continue from you. How would that be? So we can do that. The other idea I had was that uh, we start off by, say, for example, I was born in the month of November. So if I were to introduce myself, then I invite fellow people, you know, people who are born the same month to then continue. And then we go right through the months. Which would you like to do? You pick someone to continue after you, yourself, or, yes, yes. or we go by the month that you were born. I like to, I like the idea of picking up the friends, or you can, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Those by yourself. Okay. How about? Shall I? Since I've been talking, shall I start by introducing myself? Okay. Okay. And then All right. Me. <laughs> Sorry. And then me. <laughs> no, no, I won't. I won't pick you. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm I'm Alberto Gomez. You can call me Albert, or you can call me Alberto. I was born in Malaysia. I'm uh, I'm of Indian background. Um, I have lived in. Um, half or less than half of my life in Malaysia and the, re the remaining life in Australia. Uh, I'm an anthropologist by training and uh, I learned a great deal about life uh, from the Malaysian Aboriginal people. And I shall talk a bit more about my life with them, the Aboriginal people, Aborigines, and we will, um, you know, I would like to share some of my work with them. So I shall leave it at that. Oh, 
sorry, I should also say that I've been an academic for far too long. And uh, at the end of 2014, I decided to call it quits from my position at the, at the Trope University in Melbourne uh, to set up the Deep Network, uh, which is a scholar activist group of change makers. Okay, I'm going to uh, call uh, Nor Safina uh, in us, who is a friend of mine who also has done wonderful, I mean, not also, she does wonderful work among the Malaysian Aboriginal people, assisting them in various sort of welfare programs. Boo Inas. Hi, I'm Inas. I'm so happy to meet up so many wonderful people all across the globe. I'm, yes, I'm just a plain mother. Albert will be scolding me. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at all the big names up here, it makes me nervous. <laughs> anyway, um, like what Albert has mentioned earlier, I've done small part for the Orang Asli, the indigenous of Malaysian. Uh, I set up a rumah baca, it's a learning heart mm. for the children and the community. Yeah, And I would like to share here that um, I've already set up almost six rumah baca. Mm. And uh, for this year exams, um, five of my goddaughters and godsons achieve, you know, great results. I'm so proud, you know, with the achievement, with, uh, you know, life as an indigenous, uh, really sad to say, you know, lacking of a lot of things, mm. you know, and I only can afford to support them with free love items. <laughs> so majority, most of my rumah bacha are set up by uh, 80% are free love items mm. from learning materials up to the building. Yeah. And uh, I'm blessed to see that the kids are achieving and uh, they are willing to learn. Uh, I'm here to assist and support them to ensure that, you know, no, no one are left behind. I'm here, I'm a support, a, a great supporter for unleashing potentials and mm. I've seen results. Wow. That's all about myself. Inas, you are a big, big person, no? With a big heart. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> what I should say about Bu Inas is that every time she tells me that she's just a plain mother, <laughs> or she's just a housewife, and we have, then we end up with an argument because <laughs> I always say that. I used to uh, work before, but you know, I, I left my career because I want to focus on my children. I'm blessed. I have four children. Uh, three have graduated and I have my youngest now in high school mm -hmm. and all of them are, are my my laborers actually <laughs> we carry all the books you know we explore their villages you know uh, and I'm glad that they are following my footsteps you know this is for them actually you know to oh. go out there and to assist those who are in need all over the world. Actually, I've been to some indigenous in Middle East. I was in Middle East before. I've visited quite a number of indigenous tribes there, you know. So I'm here to learn more from you guys, you know, the expertise. I'm looking forward for more knowledge so that I can adapt for my small effort here. Yeah. In fact, Buinas, I would like to hear your experiences, no, with the rumah baca. You know, I'm sure that it will be uh, an inspiration, source of info, uh, inspiration for me as well, for my community. No, it's not an easy thing. I'm sure. It's not <laughs> a lot course, of challenges you know? on ground, especially yeah, when you are on ground. Yeah, you, know, you have to face a lot of challenges. You know. Yeah. But it doesn't stop me because I do it from my heart, you know. Yeah. I'm not here to be influencer or followers. Like I said to Albert, I'm just a plain mom, you know. <laughs> I used to play hockey before, like Albert, you know. Wow. <laughs> so now since my children have grown up, you know, so I want to do something, you know, to fulfill my, my inner soul, yeah. you know. Yeah. 
anyway, I miss this, you know, going to the forest, <laughs> cook up in the house, you know, in the concrete jungle, make me crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So what I I should say here is that when uh, when I first met uh, you know Bu Inas, she keeps referring to herself that she's just an ordinary she's just an ordinary woman. So eventually, when I persuaded a newspapers to do a feature on her, the story was an ordinary woman doing extraordinary things. Yeah. So, so you know, keep up the great work. Thank um, you. Thanks. Thanks for the support, Albert. Thank you. And your turn to pick someone. Hmm. Who shall I pick? <laughs> Can I have... Ah, Priska? Is Priska online? I think... Uh, oh, oh, Priska is not there anymore. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm here. So sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I got a connection problem. I'm uh, still uh, mobile. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, well, uh, my name is Priska Delima. You can call me Priska. I'm sorry, I cannot uh, open uh, my video. But uh, <clears throat> I'm... What I'm doing right now? Uh, I have some... Uh, some uh, I work in the in the Jakarta Institute of the Arts, so uh, I work as a lecturer there. So um, uh, in the school uh, postgraduate school, and uh, but actually I am an environmental scientist, so <laughs> uh, it's a bit uh, mix up. But I got my master degree in uh, defense science, so it's a uh, that's why I'm involved in this peace building course. <laughs> so I'm a bit complicated, I guess. <laughs> but uh, I think I love the way I am because uh, I can meet a lot of great people like uh, you guys, and uh, I can go around the world and then meet, uh, you know, a very uh, well, very different kind of, you know, because if we, if you meet to one community and then you jump to the other community, you can get like different uh, point of view and then you can get a different kind of, uh, you know, uh, um, well, you can get the uh, richness of the people itself. So uh, that's what I like with my job because I'm doing uh, some consultancy with, uh, at the moment with the uh, uh, John Hopkins University uh, Center Communication Program. So it's a, I currently uh, work with the COVID and the uh, COVID management in also Indonesia, and and uh, we are crazy here. <laughs> so I hope in uh, in uh, we don't have that kind of uh, discretiousness in uh, around the world. I guess because uh, well, uh, we are afraid that Indonesia now become one of the epicenter of the COVID. Uh, so it's uh, uh, very bad for us. Well, uh, I was born in Bandung. Uh, but I spent my childhood in Bali, uh, then moved to Jakarta. Uh, I got my bachelor degree in Perth, Australia, and then I moved back to Jakarta. And I spent a little bit of uh, my life in also in Batam, in the uh, Rio Islands, that's next to Singapore. So now I'm in Jakarta again. <laughs> so we have been around. Well, I think that's all about me. So. Next, I will go. Can I move around? Yes, can please. I have Alejandra Toro if you are there? Okay, wait. Well, thank you. Um, my name is Alejandra Toro. I am um, I'm from Colombia. I have uh, also lived uh, half of my life in France, in, in Paris. And so I'm half French as well. Uh, I am a dancer. I love to dance all the time, all kind of dances. And um, I'm also um, a mom of uh, Sierra. She's, she's uh, three years old and uh, she's sleeping right now, I hope. <laughs> and uh, I'm a doctor, I'm a PhD in um, history and arts with a um, focus in crisis and um, Problems resolution, conflict resolution, and peace construction. I am a professor in, in a university in Colombia where I teach um, social communication. 
And I am looking forward for this course because um, I've been working with uh, uh, war victims in Colombia. And uh, it's always important to have new um, knowledge and to have new um, tools to, to work with uh, people who have suffered war and suffered uh, trauma. So I'm very happy to be here. And, uh, thank you very much to, to all of you. And uh, well, that's, that's, about, that's about it uh, from me. And I'm going to choose, um, well, Sarah. <laughs> As my daughter's name, Sarah oh. Abi Mana. Uh, Thank you. I'm, okay. uh, hello, everybody. I'm Sarah. I'm from Spain. I studied international relationships degree, and now I do the Peace Master of the University of Damo Primer. So I hope I have, I will, the next course have uh, Alberto Gomez as my teacher. And uh, yeah, mm, I'm a member of uh, the, the think tank uh, Human Rights Global House. And uh, I, okay, today I'm, I'm very excited because today I'm going to sing uh, with a, a published house to publish a book for children about the climate change. So that's all. <laughs> And uh, okay, maybe I can ask to Tavi, uh, uh, which is uh, her favorite uh, color. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Tavi. Um, my name is Vietang, but um, normally I go with Tavi. Maybe it's also easier for everyone. I'm from Vietnam, and um, I'm currently doing the same master as Sarah um, in in Castellón. Um, and uh, well, my background is English and international relations. Um, and so this is also related to that. And um, um, uh, what else can I say? Uh, food, I love food, all kinds of food. <laughs> and we have this uh, Instagram we call the recipes. Um, and we are trying to upload uh, all the food that my, my Peace Master friends are making every day. And so if you want to follow, you are welcome to. Um, um, about, about peace building, I think I would like to go in the direction of um, creating change for children in Vietnam, especially about gender and gender equality. And um, I am deeply um, inspired by, um, by Professor Gloria and, and also Jenny here. And I'm thrilled to, to have uh, my next course with uh, Professor Alberto Gomez and uh, Professor Alexander Horsman in, in September. And I'm so pleased to meet you all. Um, I hope I can learn a lot from you and also contribute a little. To, to this course. Um, and I think next I would go with another classmate of mine here. Um, uh, she's uh, Alexander Haslinger. Hi everyone. Um, yes, I'm also Tabby's flatmate. <laughs> um, I'm Alexandra, I'm, everybody calls me Alex. I'm from Germany. I'm from the south of Germany and I'm also studying the Peace Master in Castellón. Um, I'm having a background in geography and development studies. And right now I'm on holiday in Kassel in Germany. And yeah, I like to, um, like my focus is in political education um, on topics of anti-racism and gender. And I also see some former um, professors and future professors here. And I'm really excited um, for this course. And I'm not a morning person, so this is going to be um, challenging, interesting two weeks for me getting up at 4 a.m. But yeah, looking forward to um, learn with you and from you. Um, I'll pass the microphone to can I, can I just jump in here and say, please be free to ask questions, okay? 
Yes, of course. So <laughs> anyone who would like to ask a question of anyone who uh, the present anyone who has presented about him or herself, please do so. I actually have one question to Viet, uh, to Tabby Alberto, but yeah. Yeah, it was too fast. So I wonder if I have, if I still have a chance to ask this question to Tabby. Um, Tabby, I'm actually curious with uh, your name because uh, your name is Viet and it's referring to country. So what is the meaning actually of Viet and? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will go shortly. Um, actually, my my name is Ang, and uh, I have both middle names from my parents, which is Viet and Big. So uh, my name is a little bit complicated, but um, you can call me either Viet Ang or Tabi. And yes, it's the same as in Vietnam. So yeah, <laughs> thank you for noticing does, that. Does it have a meaning, uh, Tabi? Oh uh, well, well this is uh, okay. Um, I guess it has a meaning, but I'm not sure what that is because um, um, normally our names in Vietnam um, has some kind of meaning, but it has to, you have to have, uh, we ha you have to know um, how it is written in, in Chinese character actually, to know the exact meaning of it because uh, sometimes you pronounce the same thing, but uh, if you are having different Chinese character, it can mean different things. So for me, Viet might mean something like smart. <laughs> or, the, or, the, or the name of the, the country itself. So I can go with either. <laughs> Thank you. The way, the way Mas Idam is asking questions, it sounds very much like Alexander because we anthropologists, we are, you know, we're just busy bodies. We ask questions about people's personalities, their names and things like that. We can make it funny, okay? So, uh, Alexandra Haslinger yes. was the last person, yeah? Um, I will pick Katarina as the next one. Katarina Becerra. Yes. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm really uh, happy to be here with you all. I'm Katarina from Brazil. I think I'm the, the only Brazilian here. I don't know. Um, I'm 27 and I hold a bachelor degree and also a master's in international relations and with a, a specific focus on study at uh, PC studies and conflict resolution and I'm also a professor of international relations and I have a project uh, that aims to like form the students so they can act and build peace in, in other environments so it's very important for me also to listen and to learn from you all so thank you and I don't know if you have any question, but if not, I would uh, pass to Rafia. Thank you so much, Katerina. Salam. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am from Kashmir. So those of you who don't know, Kashmir is one of the most sensitive geopolitical location in South Asia. It's a disputed territory between India, Pakistan, and China. And I'm from Indian occupied Kashmir because my part is being administered by them. So I'm very emotionally connected to the subject matter. I hold a bachelor's in political science. I'm pursuing a master's degree in conflict analysis. I have a postgraduate diploma in conflict transformation. I, the reason why I'm here is that because I'm very emotionally connected with this course and this subject because since I hail from a conflict zone, I know that people here, you know, they suffer from multiple, uh, multi multiple traumatic episodes and they are in dire need of a healing touch. So that's the reason and that's the motivation that I have in me that someday I want to be capable enough to reach out to my community and give them that healing touch so that I'm able to put them out of that trauma. So this is not just a subject for me 
this is my life and i'm planning on doing my phd and further academics in this same field i am really happy to see you all amazing people here i i you know i am very excited i'm looking forward to a very rigorous academic uh, you know endeavor in coming one week and i'm extremely thankful to professor gomez and rest of the faculty members it's it's been very enlightening and yeah i just can't wait and if anybody is having any questions just shoot and it's my brother's wedding today but <laughs> i'm enjoying i'm enjoying it <laughs> his nikah is tomorrow so i request you all to pray for him so that's the reason why i'm not for oh. i have all this kena and all on my hands thank you everyone i would like to pass to john fonk it's a very cute name Hi, hello. Uh, I'm John from Penang, Malaysia. Uh, currently, I've just uh, graduated from my master's degree. Uh, my research was based on Malaysia's uh, regime change and Philippines systemic change back during Marcos period and also Malaysia during uh, 14 general election. So as for now, I have nothing much to say because we are still in lockdown. This is our fourth lockdown and then... Uh, I think it's a bit tough in our current situations because a lot of people are unemployed and then today we have um we have doctor strikes and then uh, people are dying almost every day up to 200 over people and then our cases are have already reached 1 million per day and then I think it's really really tough for all of us and then uh yeah just maybe uh, hopefully things will get better that that's all for me And uh, John, are you from Penang itself? Yeah, I'm from Penang. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. And do you want to pick someone? Uh, ah. let me pick. Sorry. Uh, okay. What about Julius or Yami? He's also in Malaysia. I think he's from Malaysia also. <laughs> Julius. Hi everyone. Good morning. Hi. My name is I am I am Julius, but my friends like to call me JJ. JJ. I school in Russia, and I have my first degree in the computer system, and I have my masters in the computer science as well. I focus on human factor for information sharing. I'm currently a PhD student in USM Penang. Uh, before joining CyberTech as a deputy director of operation, I have worked with the African Alliance for Peace Initiative. It's a non-governmental organization, and uh, we align our operation with African Unity and the United Nations. So uh, our main objective is to rehabilitate uh, women who have been trafficking and. Uh, who have been exploited through cyber terrorism, cyber bully and cyber crimes. So uh, right now I'm a PhD uh, final year at USM. I love to travel to historical places. Unfortunately, I will have been having this program in Jakarta. It's for me to see some beautiful places in Jakarta, but unfortunately, Malaysia is very tough now. We are uh, the pandemic is uh, springing up seriously uh, people are dying on daily basis so we are in a serious lockdown uh, according to tom fong uh, i like spicy food uh, spicy food and anything that is spicy is my favorite thank you very much uh, uh, do you have any question do you have you tried gado gado Uh, not yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, not yet. <laughs> oh, I've I've tried satay. Okay. Satay is uh is very delicious. Yeah, especially satay from uh from Penang. Oh, Penang. <laughs> yeah, Penang. Your favorite one, eh, from Penang satay. Yes, yes. 
JJ, you can have satay, good satay in KL if you are based in KL. <laughs> are you based in KL? Uh, at the moment, I'm in KL now with my family because we are. I can't travel back to Penang due to the interstate. I'm lockdown. from Penang. Penang, uh, uh, they have good oh, food there. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes, they have good food, especially the uh, seafood in Penang. <laughs> I love that. Hope one day after this lockdown, you know, I can invite you to makan at oh, my okay. house. Okay, I would know? love to. Oh, yeah. I, I would love to. <laughs> I would love to meet you. Thank Me you too. for the invitation in advance. <laughs> for those of you, for those of you who are not very familiar with with Malaysia, uh, the the way that Malaysians get together and are united uh, on you know on the basis of food. So, <laughs> if the Indonesian yes. Malaysians when they meet one another, the first thing they ask is. Have you what eaten? You? <laughs> Have you eaten? <laughs> oh yeah. So, and this is another thing for you, uh, cult, for all of you who are not very familiar with Malaysia and Indonesia, is to do with food. So when Mas Ari talked about gado gado, when he asked you the question, because we have had a, a friendly debate, uh, several members of the ICC team, who I shall not mention names. Uh, have been consuming lots of McDonald's. So, <laughs> so I have been, uh, in a way, <laughs> criticizing them, saying that you come from Indonesia where there is a lot of wonderful food, gado gado, and you go and eat uh, this kind of rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but this is all out of banter and fun. You know, we tease each, we tease each other. And that's nothing, nothing to it. Okay, uh, Julius, do you want to? Oh, sorry. Uh, who was the last person? Uh, oh, Julius, yeah. I think I, I, I'm the last person. I would like to call a friend from USM as well. Uh, his name is Abdullahi Ali. Assalamu alaikum and hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Abdullahi Ali. I'm from Somalia. I am a 31 years old, a father of uh, three baby boys. Currently, I, I live in uh, Binan. I am doing my master's degree in uh, sustainable development practice. Uh, as, as we know, sustainable development practice uh, has uh, 17 goals. So one, one of the goals uh, of uh, SDGs is uh, conflict resolution and peace building. So, uh, what is very interested in for this course is uh, one of my, my my topics that I am very interested in to take. Uh, at the same time, I am from uh, Somalia. That is, as we all know, it is more popular on conflict and, and war. So it is very important to me to take this course. Uh, I think uh, I will benefit, yeah, for my community to build uh, uh, and peace and reconciliation issues. So. Uh, this is my last uh, year of my study in sustainable development practice. So I am saying to you, good afternoon, uh, good noon. I think some of you, <laughs> it's like Salamat uh, Dagi, but we are going to your afternoon. So, so thank you all of you. Would you like to pick someone? Mm, yeah, yeah, I will try. Uh, Ashika Allah, yeah, Ashika Allah. Um, hi there, everyone. Uh, still good morning. Uh, I'm Ashiki Allahi. I'm from Bangladesh, a student of international relations at Universitas Muhammadiyya Yogyakarta. Indonesia. So um, this course is pretty much related with my uh, major and I'm so much interested in uh, conflict studies as well as uh, I'm looking for oils and uh, paths toward peace. So 
I think this course will give me um, a lot of knowledge, knowledge and I can share my views as well with you all. And that's it. Looking forward to having a good course, Stuart. Thank you. And I would like to choose Akbar. Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, thank you, Asik, for uh, choosing me. Um, uh, hello, uh, I am. My name is Anugrah Akbar Molana, and uh, my friends used to call me Akbar. And I am also uh, uh, a student in undergraduate uh, program of international relations in Universitas Muhammadiyah Yogyakarta. As, and I am uh, from a 2018 batch. So currently, this is my panel uh, teammate a year in uh, my campus. And currently, I am in Jakarta, and I am so interested in these uh, courses and very looking forward from learning from the from the expert. And personally. Uh, in currently, I'm, I, I'm living in Yogyakarta, but I live in several different cities in Indonesia. Uh, I born, I was born in uh, in Jambi, and I spent uh, my junior high school until uh, senior high school in uh, Borneo Island, uh, the city of Samarinda in East uh, Borneo province. And uh, currently, I'm domiciled in. Uh, Aceh region of Indonesia, and I think there is uh, things maybe that I can I can offer from the insight that considering I'm living uh, in Aceh and how the history of uh, Aceh and Indonesia in terms of a peace uh, resolution uh, construction building. So I think that's all, and I shall pass the next uh, introduction to uh, Salwa Ginano. Uh, thank you, Ka Akbar. So my name is Raninta Salwa Prilia Ginano, but you can call me Salwa because Raninta is quite complicated to pronounce. I'm a student of international relations in Universitas Muhammadiyah Yogyakarta. I am uh, Ka Akbar's junior because I'm in the batch 2019. So I'm in fourth semester. Uh, I was born in Kota Mubagu and I live in, but I live in Manado City for almost my entire life. So when people ask me where, where do I come from? I kind of have this kind of identity crisis of answering where I came from. But to people who love spicy food, uh, you are very welcome to come to my region because we have a lot of tasty and variety of spicy food. Uh, I have no special reason to be in this course. Uh, I was offered by my lecturer and I thought it would be interesting. And it also support my future uh, dream career to be working in the United Nations Human Rights Council, uh, I hope. And I was actually quite surprised that the context of peace itself and international relations have many layers than just peace uh, between conflicts and wars. So this is a very interesting course in my opinion. And I like being busy on my summer break. So it's a plus plus. And I guess I enjoy doing Model United Nations and I usually read mystery books such as Sherlock Holmes in my free time. So that's it for me. Uh, if you have any question regarding anything about me, then you are very welcome to ask. So I shall pass the introduction to, uh, I guess I would pick Zikri. Uh, Zikri Fatua, if it's all right. Uh, thank you. Oh, okay. Uh... Actually, I'm not a participant, I'm an organizer. Uh, but yeah, since the floor passed to me, I will introduce myself again. <laughs> um, my name is Zikri Fatwa Pratama. 
uh, I mean the same batch with Akbar also 2018 batch in IPRL program in University of Muhammadiyah Yogyakarta I also have uh, same complexity of origins with Akbar and uh, Salwa uh, originally I'm from Jambi also but I spent my high school in Manado, South Sulawesi, South Sulawesi. Now I'm currently studying in Yogyakarta. And um, I think that's all. Uh, I, I pass the uh, floor or microphone to uh, Mr. Adewola. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Adewola. <coughs> Hello, can you, you unmute? You need, Adi? you need to, yeah, you need to unmute. Yeah. Oh, sorry, please. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Sorry, sorry thank no you. Worries. Yes. I say good afternoon to everybody. I'm Adebola Jeo. I'm in Nigeria by nationality, but this is the Gambia. For the past uh, 18 years, I've been in the Gambia, and I've been within the range of academics. Uh, I'm a lecturer in about three universities in the Gambia here. And uh, my area of concentration is uh, in peace and conflict studies, international relations and political science. Uh, I'm quite impressed and interested in this training because uh, I have an NGO, uh, which we call West African Center for Peace Science and Conflict Transformation. Uh, it is a research-based non-governmental organizations where we've been empirical with study of peace and conflict. Uh, because uh, the nature of contemporary conflict makes us to understand that it has great of an effect, and therefore we try to terrorize, we try to conceptualize uh, uh, issues that have to do with uh, global conflict, because uh, we see this as being transnational. And uh, on the basis of our analysis of our findings, we try to present this to the government, decision makers, peacemakers, community leaders, uh, as a way or as, 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 as a means by which they can enhance uh, you know, peace within their community. We are also engaged in organizing workshop, training session like this for community leaders, uh, where we do train them in the ambit of uh, mediation, conflict resolutions, and other patterns of conflict management. Essentially, my NGO is growing and we are also hoping by before the end of the year, we want to organize uh, a global conference, a global training of this. And I want to say kudos to the organizers. I'm quite impressed, especially with, uh, I do not refer to uh, uh, Dr. Lagreta. Let me look at my dotings. I think I should share uh, Pat Gomez, <laughs> if I'm correct. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really want to appreciate everybody that are participating in this, in the course of this program. Thank you indeed. I would like to pick a, uh, uh, permit me just. I would like to pick. Uh, uh, sorry, Roji. I have Roji here. Uh, sorry, uh, Adevola. Can you okay. type uh, the name of your NGO in the chat room so that I can take a look okay. and see the activities? Is that okay? Yes, I'll do that. Yeah, thank you. I'll do that. Yeah, thank you. I have nominated Roji. I don't know whether Roji is available. Or oh, if not, I can go for Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Saddam Hussein. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum. Uh, yeah. Everyone, my name is uh, Saddam Hussein. Uh, <laughs> basically, I belong from uh, Pakistan. Uh, I have recently completed my master in uh, International relation uh, from the International Islamic University. Uh, I'm working uh, with the National Peace Council. The reason behind to selecting these courses is that, uh, that I am working with the National Peace Council of Pakistan, where we have to arrange different types of seminars in the oral in oral country in oral Pakistan. 
uh, we have to solve the different conflict uh, between the individual, in the family, or in between the two castes. Uh, <clears throat> I have worked with the different uh, social sector organization uh, in the different position. That's why I have selected this course. Thank you. I have selected to Ijaz Ahmed. Is it just half met for? If he cannot start, I can start more there. Okay. Okay. Um, my name is Ayat, uh, and I'm from uh, uh, Jordan. Uh, I studied baccalaureate in finance and continuing my study in uh, master degree in economics. And I have seven degrees uh, working as a business development. But later I decided to change the whole things and move to different sectors. And I have started my NGO, uh, NGO then, uh, related to youth empowerment through non-formal methodology. Uh, I have participated in many abroad training courses uh, through Erasmus Plus. Uh, and I'm handling the Peace Community and Rotary Club in Jordan. Um, during the pandemic, I participated in uh, six months volunteers in Spain, an organization that uh, belongs to children's rights. Uh, and uh, recently I got accepted uh, in another uh, master degree. It's uh, International Peace and Conflicts in uh, Castellón, Spain and, and University Hawaii. So I will gonna join the girls with them. Thank you. Thank you. Do you, do you want to pick someone I, higher? I can, yes, I can rename Lul, um, Tuba Ahmad because I saw Toby, but uh, another Tuba Ahmad. Uh, Assalamu yes. Thank you for choosing me, Ayal. I'm Tuba Ahmad from Pakistan. Right now, I'm doing PhD in political science, but my previous two degrees were in international relations. Right now, I'm doing a project with HEC Pakistan on minority rights of Pakistan and family laws of minorities in Pakistan. And regarding to that, my PhD topic is debate of minority rights in India and Pakistan, how they contribute to develop minorities to the upper level like majorities in both states. And I'm now writing a book on peace building in Afghanistan. So that's why. Are you still there? I think it's connection problem, Rob. Yeah, possibly. Perhaps we can, uh, since the, the circle has been broken, can I just go through the list and say, is there anyone who is yet to introduce? What about uh, Christina? Would you like to have a go? Introduce yourself. Yes, good night. Salama Pagi. No, it's not Salama Pagi. Mm -hmm. Salam. I forgot. Salam. Salama. Tengahari. 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 <laughs> oh, Salamat. Oh, in Indonesian, it's Salamat Sore. Salamat oh. Siang, Prof. That's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Salamat Siang, sorry. Salam. It's not sorry yet. <laughs> um, good afternoon. Um, good morning. To everybody else in um, outside Asia. Uh, my name is Christina. I'm originally from Spain, but I'm based now in Penang, Malaysia. 
I'm doing my PhD in the uh, university, science university. Mm. And uh, prior to that, I did my two masters. One was in international business, the other one in international relations. So I spent most of my life in the Middle East. Um, I was based in Dubai, but I was working throughout the um, Gulf region, working in the corporate world, but uh, doing a lot of uh, corporate negotiation, corporate mediation in the Middle East. So finally, I decided to, um, to leave the corporate world and join the peace world and join you all, all of you. Um, and yes, look forward to this um, to get to know you more and learn from you all. You have much more experience. My experience is, is from a different background. But I'm really looking forward to learning from all of you. Thank you for inviting us. And thank you for organizing it to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Christina. Um, because we are not sure who has been given a chance and who has the yet thing. to speak. The thing is there. Is Ditting there? I like to ask Ditting. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm here. Thank you, Christina. I think Christina is the only friend that I know here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm Ditting. You can just call me Ditting. I'm, I'm original. I'm from China. And now I'm based uh, in Japan and studying other PhD students in peace and conflict studies. And my research interest is like I do in combining the historical trauma healing and conflict transformation. And in my case, is uh, to transforming the grassroots level relationship between China and Japan through the historical healing of Nanjing and Hiroshima. And, and I'm looking forward to learning from you and learning with you. And thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dating. And um, uh, <laughs> uh, who Lodi Lodi. Uh, I I don't know. It's Loji. Is it is it me? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god! I I don't know how to on my video. Uh, previously was working, but now it has turned, and I've been trying to set it up, but <laughs> according to my device, it's not working. So I'm extremely sorry for that to everyone. So uh, I'll just introduce myself like this. I, I hope you, you guys don't mind. So, uh, hi, hello everyone. A warm greeting from my side. I am uh, Navim Rosie. You can simply call me Rosie. I hail from Manipur, which is a small state in the northeast side of India. I hold a bachelor and master degree in political science from the University of Delhi. Uh, during my five year course, uh, you know, international relations holds a special part of my study. and when Sir Vedavyas has introduced this course, I was very elated to join because this is the dire need of present situation. Conflicts, transformation and peace building is the need of the hour. So I felt and I, I was very excited to join. And if I have to uh, say about myself from my uh, previous background, um, I was a junior Gandhi fellow in my higher school uh, secondary days. Um, and then I was working in a, uh, as a volunteer, I'm not working exactly, but as I, I serve as a volunteer in a in an organization. Uh, it, it's a non-governmental organization called Kasturva Gandhi Institute for Development Manipur. Its parent organization is Gandhi Smriti Darshan Samiti. So where so where it saved me a whole mindset of me being present now today. So uh, uh, the peace building and uh, everything about nonviolent is what we are we have been taught and we are still preaching so this is very excited and and i and i hope to uh, uh, learn and engage 
at the same time with uh, different people from different corner of the world. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, if you'd like to ask me about something, you can ask me freely, so I can't be seen. Uh, pick somebody, Roji. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I will pick. Um, I, will, I will pick Manoj. He's my junior, <laughs> so yeah, I'll pick Manoj from India. Yeah. Do you get me, sir? You get me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a very good morning from from India. Salamat siang. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, namaste, and the warm welcome to all our uh, friends and uh, my seniors colleagues for uh, for giving such a great opportunity for uh, say uh, in this uh, topic to learn about something about this uh, vastly. And from different countries, different countries of the world. So I haven't met many friends. So I'm very happy about this opportunity also. Actually, sir, I am also pursuing right now a uh, master in economics in Manipur University. So I am from same, uh, same, same country and same area with our sister Rosi. Uh, we are from Manipur, a small state in the northern part of, uh, northeastern part of India. And uh, actually, sir, I have been also uh, working since my uh, childhood period under the under uh, as a volunteer as a youth coordinator in the Asturba Gandhi Institute for Development Manipur. And right now, I have been uh, doing some uh, paper also. In, in uh, I have been recently in 2019 as a part of the. UNESCO MGIP, I have been participated as a uh, youth delegate in the World Youth Conference on Kindness. So on that part also, we have been uh, learned about this conflict uh, resolution or conflict transformation uh, discussed by the professors of the Lab University. And we have been completed the CIT course that been proposed by the Lab University. And on this, uh, during this pandemic, uh, so uh, ban pandemic the, uh, from Indonesia uh, from uh, Jakarta, uh, it's a great opportunity to learn about this uh, about this program or about this grow a course uh, from from the from the great persons from the great professors from from the great resource persons. Uh, so lastly, I have been thank thank to all the uh, resource persons to uh, clear our doors or anything. To learn to give us uh, a beautiful license further to uh, enhance more in our uh, society or in our locality and from my uh, from a grassroots level that is to try by me and that's all from me and uh, I haven't picked my brother Salman so we are we are having some uh, colleagues from Manipur we have three of us. <laughs> Working together, uh, brother Salman. Yeah, thank you, Manos, for recommending my name. Hello, hello, everyone. Is it audible? Hello. Yeah, I hope yes, it, it is. Audible. All right, thank you. So my name is Muhammad Salman Khan. I'm from Manipur. Manipur, it's a north state of uh, India and I have completed my master's degree in political science. I also did my graduation in political science and international studies in, from Delhi University. Uh, like Rosie and Manoj recently you know uh, introduced we had a very you know similar background. I also work as a very you know team of uh, team volunteer of the Kasturba Gandhi Institute for Development Manipur. Uh, the parent body of this institute is Gandhi Srimiti Anderson Samiti in New Delhi. Recently, I'm also engaged in working with 
the Indian Reunification Association. Here in this association, what we are doing is, you know, we are trying to reduce the conflicts that is happening in between Bangladesh, Pakistan, and India. So we are even trying to undo the partition which was done by the British in 1947. So kind of, you know, we are working on um, the resolving the conflict and going towards building peace. So the, the main motive, the main reason why I'm here in this conference is because, you know, me, I belong to Manipur. Manipur was once a princely state before getting into the Indian Union. So what happens was that Manipur was independent and was taken into the Indian Union by force with a force agreement like why is this the case with Jammu and Kashmir? So, you know, still today we have like underground, you know, uh, insurgency organizations working in our state, you know, holding arms, still demanding for uh, the independence uh, status that were, uh, uh, that were enjoyed by us before. So, I personally believe that, you know, attending such a course on uh, conflict resolution and peace building will definitely, you know, give me uh, ideas on how to uh, deal with such situations uh, at large. I'm also planning to do PhD, you know, in peace building and then conflict resolution. I'm, I'm like, you know, looking forward to do PhD in Malaysia, Indonesia, if you guys have like, you know, ideas on it, you can suggest me. I just want to do my PhD outside India, not here. So if you have a good suggestions, you know, you can just suggest me. I have uh, completed my post-graduation. So that's all. Thank you so much for having me, you know, in the conference. So I'll just, I'd just like to pick up... Um, Kainat Saif, uh, Kainat Saif, are you here in the meeting? <clears throat> Kainat Saif. In case he is absent, I would like to go yeah. with another person. Are you there, Kainat Saif? All right, so let me go with another person. Liliani Akiki. Liliani Akiki. Hello? Yeah, hi. Yeah, it's all the <laughs> Hello, good morning. Uh, sorry, I was disconnected, uh, so I lost the... Actually, I'm at work now. Um, um, I'm, uh, my name is Lillian, and I'm uh, from Lebanon, uh, but I currently work in Qatar, and I live in Qatar. I'm originally a physiotherapist, but I hold a master's in psychosocial rehabilitation in community mental health. I got uh, this master from... La uh, Uchi um, Universidad uh, Jaume Primer. And I'm currently doing a PhD in international studies in peace, conflict, and development. And I have a special interest with migrant health and women's health, and um, also um, terms of like gender discrimination, sexual violence, and all of that. And being Lebanese, I had enough experience in armed conflicts, and um, um, you know, um, a peace uh, peace building, which is not. Uh, coming to a happy end in the Middle East at all. Uh, so I lived all my life, uh, like during civil war in Lebanon, then war with Syria, then war with Israel, 
and now um, we are really affected by the uh, Syrian war and the refugees and uh, you know uh, so and and the last disaster was the Beirut blast uh, last summer uh, so and then until now we didn't know the reason and nobody's uh, like condemned or um, like uh, uh, reported the responsible for this. So and now with the really very uh, bad economic crisis, mm-hmm. the worst ever. Uh, so uh, I'm so glad to meet all of you and, and uh, to have all this multicultural uh, experience through this course. Uh, I'm really glad um, I, I have... Uh, um, I have gone through some of the bio. Sorry, I, I, I did miss this session for connection problem because I had to quit from Wi-Fi to the, uh, to the mobile connection and I had problems with that. So um, uh, I'm looking forward uh, to get the experience of each and every one of you. And um, uh, also um, I learned the... <laughs> the 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 Indonesian way of like uh, mm, uh, talking to others like you you would be mass mass something my brother or something so this is very nice uh, the <laughs> this is a very nice approach to start a dialogue and uh, to call people uh, not just with their name but uh, showing solidarity and all of that. So thank you for accepting me in this course. And um, um, it's going to be a, a really a very intense course full of experience and uh, collaboration, interaction from everyone. Really looking forward. Thank you. Have a nice day, everyone. And uh, uh, good evening for, for those who are in the other part of the world. So I, I, I don't know who already spoke, uh, but I have, um, I don't know. Uh, could you give me a name so I can call? I don't know which one would be next because um, I didn't know who already okay, spoke. You can try. <laughs> Maybe Afifa or Ayla? Afifa, Afifa Abbas? Yes. Afifa Abbas, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Assalamu alaikum, Afifa. <laughs> alaikum salam. Sharafat <laughs> 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 okay. okay. So now we're speaking a little bit of Arabic, you see. That's good. <laughs> I, I speak many languages. I speak Spanish, Greek, French, English, whatever, Italian. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, Thank you Allah, Allah, yes. the situation in uh, Lebanon. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, sorry, I didn't hear well what you said. I said Allah be in with the situation in Lebanon. We are uh, yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. May God give us strength and uh, more resilience to go on. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Just if it's possible, can you turn on your video so that we can... I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm unable to. <laughs> oh, that's okay, don't worry. I will, I will turn my my video, but it says, because I'm on my mobile, you can see my yeah, picture. That's, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I, that's, that's it's okay. a very recent picture, because my <laughs> mobile says that I, t- I cannot turn on my uh, my camera. So that's, I will do it uh, in tomorrow's session when when yeah, very early in the morning, so you yeah. can see my happy face. I'm always smiling, uh, even though I had been through difficulties all the time. But I'm always positive, and this is a message that we have to transmit to everyone. That's so right. uh, I'm looking forward to learn more about this. And now I will uh, give the floor for um, for. Uh, how do, we, how do we say sister? Uh, <laughs> in, in, um, um, umba. 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 Afifa, please go ahead. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I'm uh, from Malaysia, actually. 
because I'm living in Najran, Saudi, ah. in this um, forest because it's a war zone. So I, I think uh, it needs more uh, Muslim women from Middle East <laughs> to involve in this <coughs> more representative for people to also heard what happened here. Although um, I also like uh, most of the people that have a problem with the origins because I have a mixed parentage. Also, I have a lineage from uh, Padang, Sumatra. My grandma, the father, is, uh, was from there. Mm. Um, she told me uh, he was the Sultan, but being taught by his brother. <clears throat> oh, no, like so, <laughs> so they fled to Malaysia, Tanah Melayu. So I'm, I feel myself as a part of Indonesia, although I'm in Malaysia. Um, so uh, um, currently I'm living in Najran because uh, I'm following my husband working in Najran University. I cannot open my video because taking care of my baby. I'm sorry for that. Um, what else? Um, living other countries. I have experience living in Sudan, in Pakistan. I was in Islamabad. In Sudan, I was in Khartoum, um, Durman, uh, Jazeera. And uh, also in uh, Jordan, my husband from Jordan. So I live in Irbit. Also um, a while in Egypt. And uh, also, where else? <laughs> uh, just uh, Singapore for a while. Uh, like um, other people also, uh, I'd be concerned about conflicts here and how it uh, influenced our life actually. And um, in the end, uh, all the human being wants safe life. And that's all for me. Any questions? Hello. Yeah. Thank, uh, thank you. I don't think we have any questions. Um, now, I'm a bit concerned about time. So we have several who have yet to introduce uh, him or herself. Um, yeah, I would like I yeah. would like to choose Alia. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Bo Afifa. Uh, hello, Assalamualaikum, everyone. Can you guys hear me clearly? Yes, yes so. we can. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, hello, uh, Selamat Siang, Selamat Tengah Hari. Uh, my name is Noralia Sanya Shukur, but you can call me Alia. I am uh, born and raised in Malaysia, uh, currently a I would say final year student uh, in majoring in international affairs, uh, studying in University Uttara Malaysia, waiting for my placement for internship. Um, and I just got to know about this uh, program from my friend uh, whom she was uh, uh, exchange student to UMBA before. And uh, I just thought that it is very interesting understanding the fact that uh, conflict itself is uh, very broad uh, in terms of understanding. It can happen uh, as small as in our own family, and it can happen very widely uh, between um, the um, uh, communities or even countries. So uh, the reason why I joined this program because I thought it is very interesting. I would like to learn more uh, from uh, every one of you who uh, joined this program, I believe, um, uh, from the introduction that uh, everyone has given earlier <laughs> from my side, um, you guys have a lot more experience, uh, uh, I believe, on peace building and conflict resolution. Um, so I wish to um, learn that um, uh, further uh, in the next uh, two weeks, inshallah. So um, I believe that is all uh, from me. Um, is there any question? <laughs> Are there any questions? 
Which uh, which part of Malaysia are you from? I oh yes, uh, I forgot. Um, I am situating in uh, Selangor, uh, specifically in Puchong, Selangor. Okay. Uh, I used to have my. Uh, I I went to Kedah um, on the first three semesters of my studies, but because it's locked down since 2020, I have studied ever since at home. And uh, I'm almost graduating, so <laughs> I just can't wait for it to finish. Maybe uh, I'll soon continue uh, my master's uh, degree, but uh, we'll see how it goes in the future. Uh, I've known some of you guys also are from uh, Malaysia or currently situating in Malaysia, specifically in Penang or in KL. Uh, if there are such opportunities in the future, maybe um, uh, maybe we can meet. <laughs> We'll see, yeah. Um, so, um, thank you, thank you, Ba'afifa. I've also learned some of, oh yeah. Um, yeah, I think that is it. I don't want to take a lot of more time. I shall pass this um, to, uh, can I choose now? Yes, please do, yeah. <laughs> All right, I think mm -hmm. I see, yeah, Kafil Rana. Yeah, I'll pass this to Kafil Rana. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yes. yes. Hello. Hello, everyone. Yes, Kafil, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, this is Kafil from uh, Pakistan. Uh, I remember one of our uh, course mates, uh, you know, mentioned this thing. It is very hard to speak, you know, in morning. So I'm not very, you know, good at it. But uh, uh, I am from Pakistan. I uh, completed my graduation from uh, Grammar College University Lahore, uh, which is you know the oldest institution here in Pakistan. So I was also the part of the debating society. I, I became the general secretary of uh, student union of Grammar College University Lahore, and uh, I was also the editor of the university magazines. I have started an organization here in Pakistan named Youth Gen Assembly of Pakistan. So we are, uh, you know, currently working uh, on various, you know, uh, topics pertaining to uh, conflict and youth education, particularly. So uh, I'm very thankful uh, that I have been, you know, selected by uh, UMY, and particularly I would like to thank Professor uh, Gooms for uh, giving me this opportunity to uh, speak. So thank you so much uh, for uh, uh, this particular course. So if you have any question, so you can ask me. Uh, as I have already told you, I am not good at you know, uh, very good in in morning. So I am. I apologize for this. There's nothing for you to apologize. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, do you want to pick someone you can? I think uh, Dilabar is yet to speak. Uh, I would like to go for Sapriha, if I am not wrong, Sapriha. Yeah. I think not available. Then I'll go for uh, Irfan. Uh, I'm not sure his full name, but Irfan, I think this is his first name, Irfan. Okay. I don't think he's there. I think uh, Neha hasn't spoken yet. Yeah, am I audible? Yes, you are. Yeah. Ah, thank you so much. So, uh, good, good, good morning, everyone. Um, it feels so good to be a part of 
this you know august gathering of such learned people from you know uh, these diversified fields uh, i am dr neha from india and i am an academician presently working as an assistant professor at university of delhi delhi uh where i'm teaching uh, in the department of journalism to these undergrad students undergraduate students i have an academic experience of more than a decade and uh, prior to that i had a stint both in electronic and print media industry so you know i have worked with india's public service broadcaster that is you know uh, called as doordarshan as a compere and voice over artist and i have written for various national newspapers also as a freelancer apart from that uh, talking about my uh, educational qualifications i did my bachelor's i did my master's i did my mphil i did my phd in the subject journalism and mass communication uh precisely my research work focuses on uh, print media uh, uh women empowerment i i study i am keen about studying the representation of females the representation the portrayal of uh, the downtrodden society in the print media and um, i have written i have presented several papers on uh, different key areas pertaining to new media uh, film studies and i am you know really looking forward to these coming two weeks so that you know i get a sense uh, how how these concepts of peace building and you know uh, conflict transformation can be incorporated especially in media studies so thank you so much thank you for giving me this opportunity thank you thank you neha okay now uh... I, i i would like dr nidhi to speak something about herself all right thank you dr neha um good morning uh, rather i would say greetings of the day because we are from the international time zones we are from different time zones everyone so first of all i'm super excited about this course because it's very close to my heart uh, because uh, presently i'm also working in the same area as in i'm an academician i am a phd in mass communication and teaching the budding journalists and mass communication students at undergrad level so this is where i want to you know inculcate in them that how as journalists or as communication experts they should um, you know aim at uh, at least not um, you know if not resolving at least putting the conflicts in the right frame in uh, i'm from india and in indian subcontinent we have a sheer of conflict uh, we gender equality we class clash or political uh, dispute so i had been working with various issues myself especially social issues in india regarding uh, gender equality class clash and identity crisis being one of my areas where i want people to know that it is time that we should not only talk and preach about it we should address these conflict and work towards international peace which is a basic need this is not something which is a elite concept and i'm looking forward to learning from this international diversified people like admissions scholars uh, people from different walks of life they'll put in the perspectives how we can think global and act local so this is something i'm looking forward to i'm super super excited uh, after these churning days from these sessions and i'll congratulate here itself in the onset that how you're making it interactive and how we are coming to know each other and bringing to the forum in the first session itself that the share of conflict we might have and how we can work towards at least uh, working to a solution where we can be very very uh, trusted in and first admit then work towards having solution towards these conflicts understanding and addressing conflict itself is first of the you know biggest uh, step i would say so i'm really really looking forward to it and i've worked with various ngos i've worked in media industry 
and i would say that being from the media industry our role itself is very important but it is questionable if we are not clear about how to address them impartially and how to actually work towards a peaceful society without any biases be it gender biases be it uh, class uh, class conflicts be it political conflicts we would never be able to become a planet which is for human being to live uh we have already facing other issues like international pandemic or you know the environment in natural calamities if we do not hold this is the uh, time we have to realize in this time uh this force is i would say come as a big it is a need of our that we have to hold our hand in the international community and work together so thank you everyone first of all for giving me the opportunity to attend and learn from such august gatherings here and i hope we can come up with this really good as i said good brainstorming to work towards bringing the uh, transformation in the society thank you uh, i would now like to name uh, mr dilawar yes he is here hello everybody assalamu alaikum uh, from pakistan uh, i am dilawar uh, from pakistan and living in the capital city of uh, islamabad uh, basically uh, by profession i am a social entrepreneur uh, by passion i am social entrepreneur while by profession i am a social worker uh, from last 12 years so i also had a experience uh, working experience working with uh, government uh, departments so then I, which could not uh, align my thoughts uh, so then i i i tried to leave those positions then uh, join this sector development sector Uh, i have recently done my uh, phil in international development studies and i am looking forward to my phd uh, and in in last 12 years uh, i had opportunity to work mostly with young people uh, those young people who are potentially uh, exposed to terrorism uh, extremism and uh, other unlawful activities other than that i i also work for women uh, gen- women empowerment gender uh, equality and legal empowerment peace building so this this is something which is uh, with relate to my profession and i uh, fortunately i am also uh, a member of deep global network family here in pakistan along with some of other my uh, fellow uh, deep uh, members And this is from my side if there is any question i i'm i'm ready to respond thank you let me check uh, that uh, that i can pick someone that uh, i would i would pick najiba sayed because it is easy for me to pick up is i am connected via mobile so i cannot see uh, the name of uh, individuals and uh, while i am driving to thank you sure and hey, najiba are you there najiba hello everyone yes i am here i'm sorry okay. i a little uh, more time um, i just arrived in my office um uh, my name is najiba sayed uh, uh, i am working in one of the organization I, actually i'm one of the founding member of the organization mainly working on adolescents and youth uh, empowerment um, i'm uh, basically from balochistan one of the biggest province of pakistan and based in islamabad currently um i have done uh, uh my mphil in international uh, development studies and i have passion to work for uh, uh, young people's empowerment uh, specifically on the behavioral change aspect of it um 
I'm very much looking forward to uh, to pursue uh, my PhD in in the near future. Um, um, since I'm not very organized right now because I have just arrived in the office. So if anyone has any question for me, you can, you are welcome to ask. Thank you, Najiba. Okay, if we go through the list, we have uh, Mohamed Yassin, who is yet to speak. Um, maybe what, Rob, sorry, yeah. Rob. Maybe those who haven't uh, introduced themselves, they can raise hands so that we can yeah, easily okay. recognize. So, so we can just go ahead, yeah, because yeah. we are running out of time. So it'd be good to, you know. Okay, please go ahead. Just uh, Mojisola, right? Yeah, Mojisola. Yeah. Yeah, good morning. My name is Mojisola. I'm from Nigeria. I'm happy to join everyone in this course program. Um, I'm a graduate of history and uh, international relations. Um, um, I'm looking forward to pursuing my master's in the future. Um, I'm also interested in the area of uh, peace building and conflict transformation. Presently, I am the I'm part of the pool of trainers for UNOY, United Network of Young Peace Builders in Netherlands. Uh, I'm looking forward to this program to strengthen my capacity in delivering conflict transformation uh, programs for young people in Nigeria. Uh, I'm also interested in women, peace and security. Um, the women, peace and security is my field. I'm looking at the aspect of feminism and peace building. Uh, and, and women protection. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And uh, then we have uh, Kainat. Uh, Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. This is Kainat Sef and I am uh, an undergrad fourth year law school student. And for me, this program is interesting primarily because I am really um, I really want to work for uh, work for social up, uh, uplet, uplift of Pakistan specifically, and moreover, I am so much into policy uh, making legislation. So in future, when I'll be graduated and I will be working into high offices, inshallah. So I am looking forward to you know uh, taking into consideration the courses that I the, the sessions the courses that I will be taken from there into my practical life or into the practice that I will be doing uh, to make, um, you know, Pakistan a better place to live in. So this this is my concern to join this course. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kaina. And uh, we have Andrew. Okay, good morning all. Uh, apologies, my... I won't be able to own my camera since it is early morning over here. Okay, uh, I am fun. I am yeah. from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I am based in UB State, one of uh, the crisis-stricken environment in the north northeastern part of Nigeria. Uh, I am an industrial chemist by profession, but my passion for humanitarian and development work pushed me into series of training in the area of peace building. And that has uh, helped me to do quite uh, a number of things over here in uh, a state where there is insurgency and a lot of uh, communal and tribal stuff going on. Uh, over the years, I have been able to set up an organization, me and my brother, my name Hope Interactive. Uh, it is a peace building organization. Uh, we work with youth. Uh, actually, presently, we've been able to uh, structure or develop a structure called Youth uh, Platform for Peace with an average of uh, 
70 to 100 youths in different uh, locations within the state. And we have about 10 to 12 platforms. I have been able to build their capacity, support them build their capacity in the area of conflict analysis, dialogue and advocacy. And the essence of or the focus of what we do is to build the capacities of these youths uh, in order to respond to conflict con co constructively in their communities. So they have been able to do quite a lot of things. And recently I have been working on a particular uh, work on the area of uh, forgiveness, reconciliation, and reintegration. So I've been able to do quite a lot of things in uh, this area, talking about working with the locals to see how they can set up uh, some level of reconciliation structures and see how uh, they can reintegrate uh, persons uh, displaced, persons associated with uh, uh, the conflict uh, parties and the rest. So uh, this is uh, a little I have been able to do in Yubi State, northeastern part of Nigeria. I am looking forward to learn from uh, the vast uh, experience of people all uh, that will be part of this training. I appreciate uh, the organizers of this training and uh, hoping we have a, a good ride, a good learning session. Thank you very much. I don't know if there's a question for me. Uh, I would like to, if there is no question, let me nominate, uh, let me check the list, please. Okay, I think let me nominate. Andrew, uh, the, the only hand, sorry, Andrew, the only hand we have up is uh, Langda. Okay, so I nominate Lambda. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Oh, it's okay, that's fine. Um, yes, good afternoon, uh, sir, and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lambda. I'm from uh, Cambodia. I think it's only one from Cambodia. I hope oh, so. good. <laughs> um, so I have bachelor degree in English language and master degree in uh, development management. And nowadays I work for the uh, intergovernmental organization who have on the labor migration. So, and also link with the human trafficking. So um, I work a lot to empower and promote the rights of the worker who migrate uh, to the, uh, the other destination country, for example, Thailand, Malaysia, or any other country in in Asia. So I hope the course is really good and um, conflict transformation and peace buildings because it's relevant with what I have done nowadays to promote and to empower the worker. So I guess I can learn the uh, particular aspects from the course that can link with my experience and career and also shape uh, more professional to my career. So, and I, I do hope that I can learn uh, a lot from everyone and from respect uh, uh, doctor and lecturers of the course. And thank you so much and nice to meet you. Have a good day. Thank you, over. Thank you so much, Langda. Um, now, is there anyone else that would like to speak to introduce yourself? Actually, I am. I can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Someone invite me to talk, but that time my internet stopped working, so everything okay. collapsed. So I, I want to. I'm Tuba Ahmed from Pakistan, and I'm very glad to see many faces from Pakistan. I really appreciate it. Okay, many people is many people are there from Pakistan. And I'm doing PhD in political science, but my last two degrees, my master's and MPhil in international relations. I have very keen interest in peace building and conflict resolution. So I'm writing a book on peace building in Afghanistan. So I, I assume that course, but I'm sure that course helped me to do it very good. And right now I'm doing a project with HEC Pakistan. 
uh, on the minority rights of Pakistan and family laws of minorities in Pakistan. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you. It's Tuba, right? Yes, it's Tuba. Okay, good. Thank you very much. It's Arabic name. Yeah, I worked. Yeah, I, I worked that out. Yeah, and anyone else? No. Okay. Let's let's now open it up to everybody. If you have got, uh, unless uh, Alexander, would you like to say something? Yeah, I like to say very shortly. Um, can you hear me well? Yes. Yes. Um, so thanks, thanks to Alberto again for inviting me to this wonderful course, and uh, I'm really happy and delighted to meet everybody here. Um, uh, <clears throat> I'm in a holiday, family holiday now, <laughs> in Kloster Benedict Boyan, and I, I don't know if the connection is very good, but uh, um, so. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I'm currently a guest professor um, in social anthropology in a, a master program on standards of decision making and cross culture at the University of Erlangen. And uh, I'm also um, a visiting lecturer to the uh, UNESCO Chair of Peace Studies Program in Castellón, um, like uh, Alberto Gomez. And um, so it's wonderful to meet all the students also from Castellón. Um, and uh, I'm a member of DEEP, of course, of the DEEP network. And um, um, uh, so I initiated a, a circle on peace houses, um, in which also, uh, which is a circle of community centers, different community centers in different parts of the world, um, in Myanmar and Southern Thailand, uh, as Alberto mentioned already, but also in uh, Northern Iraq. Um, so you're very welcome to join that circle also. And, um, and yes, so um, really looking forward to the course, although the uh, 4 a.m. Uh, schedule is a little bit difficult for me, <laughs> but I'm very happy that you record the lectures also. Yeah, yeah so looking forward to see you then. Yeah, schön, Alexander. Now, um, I think most of you do not know much about what the deep and what Alexander was talking about in terms of circles. So very briefly, the deep network, as I mentioned early on, it stands for dialogue, empathic engagement and peace building. It's a network. It's a network of change makers. And the way the network works is that we have a number of circles right around the world. And this is a small group of people that come together um, and they form a, a circle to work on projects or to work on activities. And then the circles are then, um, you know, they are connected to the deep network. So these circles, uh, you know, we are inspired by ecology. So these circles are very much, uh, you know, they resemble the ecosystem uh, in, in the world where we have different sort of circles that come together to lead to the functioning of the total uh, ecosystem. So that's uh, very briefly, we'll have a chance to talk more about DEEP later. But now let's open it up. And if you have got any questions, any uh, remarks that you want to make, uh, you know, if you want to tell us any jokes, I'm just kidding, of course. But, you know, if you feel like you have an... Uh, let, let, me, let me repeat, let me reiterate. The, the fact is that this is... Uh, you know, it's a serious course. Uh, there are a number of presenters who are going to be very serious about the topics that they're going to present. But at the same time, we believe very strongly that learning or unlearning or relearning, however you would like to put it, can also occur in the, and exist within an environment or ambience of, of enjoyment and fun and entertainment. So let's, Let's be open to that because I think far too much uh, a lot of the learning takes place in a very formal setting. When we, when Mas Ari and I planned this course, uh, you know, a few years ago, we had in, intended to 
to take the participants uh, for a number of field trips. And we, in fact, had started organizing uh, with villagers around Dr. to, you know, to work out these kind of field trips. And in fact, we, we had gone through in some detail, uh, both Mas Ari and I and the group that was working on this project. And then unfortunately, which is, you know, uh, the, the pandemic, um, it has uh, spoiled this whole project. But while it, it has made it very inconvenient to us, it is nothing compared to how the pandemic, how the COVID crisis has ravaged the lives of so many people around the world. And as we are now interacting with one another, we should also spare thought to the number of people who have lost their lives, to the pandemic, whose lives have been disrupted, affected, and uh, you know, terribly um, destroyed, I would say. And I think it is important for us that in the brotherhood and sisterhood of humanity, that we also have a strong sense of empathy as to what you know, people are going through at this very moment. And the thing is I'm going to talk about is that a virus that is invisible to the naked eye has in fact made visible the many problems that we face in the world today. The problems of inequality, the problems of increasing poverty, the problems of injustice, and the uh, problem. And one of the biggest problem I would say is the environmental degradation that in fact it is related to the pandemic itself. The virus, the coronavirus did not just appear from somewhere. It in fact was there all the time. And the disruption to nature, the way humanity has in fact destroyed so many different parts of nature, we have disrupted ecosystems, has unleashed these viruses that have now made it sort of has ravaged through the through the world and, and has you know, damaged the lives of so many people. However, it is also important for us to keep in mind that while at the moment we are struggling to come to terms with this terrible pandemic, we should also keep in mind the fact that there are, is, there are so many other viruses in this world. And I'm not just talking about pathogens. I'm also talking about the viruses that relate to humanity the virus of selfishness, the virus of greed, the virus of how, you know, of dominance, the virus of injustice or structural violence in terms of how so many different parts of the world, you know, people discriminate, people divide, people treat others, you know, differently on the basis of who they are. How in many parts of the world, humans are so quick to dehumanize other humans. And these are kinds of the viruses that we hope that this course will probably not solve, will help us to understand, but with all of us coming together, you know, we are in it together, we can also defeat this kind of virus, the set of viruses that affect humanity. And so I'll open it up for you. We have a few more minutes. Uh, if you've got any comments that you would like to make and any um, you know, you want to share any points of view? So. Is there anything would you like to share? Anyone? Can I say something, Albert? No, is there anyone, is, uh, any one of you? Yeah, of course you can say something in us. Well, I, I, I believe that, you know, as human, we have to treat others, you know, with respect, love, you know, irrespective from which background they are from, yeah. I'm a true believer of uh, peace, you know, and um, reach out reach out and help whoever are in need, yeah, irrespective of uh, where they are, who they are. And 
we have to try to get rid the other kind of virus that you mentioned earlier, which are attacking us actually more than the pandemic actually now, you know? That's true. Yeah, it's very, very true now. I can see that it's going on rapidly, especially on the social media platforms, which is not healthy at all, you know? And um, I think with a small group community here, we should raise the awareness about, you know, we have to live as a unity, as a team. Um, reach out, yeah. Don't undermine anyone. Don't judge anyone, yeah. And learn to understand them, um, you know, empathy yeah. and uh, passion about what you're doing. That's about all. We thank you so much, uh, Inas. I mean, it also um, stresses, you know, the important thing about this times that we are living in the moment is that we have to focus on building bridges rather than building walls. So we keep talking about the, the language is also wrong because people keep talking about social distancing, that the pandemic has made us you know, aware that we should socially distance. No, we shouldn't be socially distancing. We should actually come together socially more, but we have to physically distance. And there is a difference because there is so much alienation, so much loneliness. People are detached from each other and we have to try to change that, you know, transform that, that de you know, detachment. Uh, and the most important thing here is that it's not just a detachment from each other, but it is also to do with the detachment from nature and the way we have alienated ourselves, uh, you know, estranged ourselves to the most important life-giving aspect of the world, nature itself. And I think this is, these are all important points uh, that we should focus on. So let's uh, build bridges. Don't focus on what divides us. And uh, we may be of different religious backgrounds. We may be of different cultural backgrounds. Um, in this course, which I forgot to mention earlier on, we focus on the fact that uh, language must not be a barrier of communication. If you, some of us are more fluent in English and some of us are less fluent, but this does not mean that um, if you're going to conduct this course in English, it does not mean that uh, it should be a barrier of your, of your communication. We all will you know, understand each, each other we, and we must make an effort to do so. And English, unfortunately, is the language, uh, unfortunately, I should say, but it's a language that, uh, it's a global language. And if there was something else that was global, maybe we can all speak in terms of, you know, sign language, then it's, it's a different matter. But I think it's really important in this course in particular, that all of us, uh, whether we are Indonesians, Malaysians, uh, you know, me as an Australian, or all different groups of people, <clears throat> whether you are from uh, Cambodia or, you know, Nigeria, Gambia, any part of the world you could be. <clears throat> but we come together here in this course. Um, we don't allow the language to our fluency or non-fluency to affect how we communicate with one another. So I think this is an important thing. So please be free, open up, <coughs> speak freely, um, and also work towards building, you know, a kind of, a, I'm not going to use the word brotherhood because sometimes they say the brotherhood of humanity, work towards a common humanity that all of us are after all humans. And Mas Idam, do you have anything to add? Well, I'm okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Thank, Thank you. From the presentation of each uh, participant, I can see that there are many rich things, you know, Prof. 
of this course, you know? Yes. Many experiences, many backgrounds, many ideas. Oh yeah, sure. right, yeah. right. A li little, little thing I would like to say that um, yeah, I appreciate the the bonding. You know, I can see the the communication among participants has already bonded in the chat room. In the chat room, so I can you know I'm I'm really excited and I'm really pleased you know to 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 see to re to realize all this stuff even though we are virtually meet uh, you know through Zoom. But we still can have we can still have a great engagement among the participants, and hopefully in the next two weeks will be more intense and will be more um, having fun, as you said, while learning and learning. And um, what is the other one? Yeah. Okay. Learn, yeah. Learn, learning, unlearning, and relearning. That's right. Relearn. Re <laughs> That's the one. Thank you. That's right. And also I want to say to all of you, if you ever get a chance, once this pandemic craziness is over, if you get a chance, go to Jogjakarta. And these two guys that who are just talking to you and Luna and Davia and Sasha, uh, Zikri and Zulfan, all of them, you just go to Indonesia and spend time in Jogjakarta and you will, in fact, uh, learn what you know humanity is all about. Because uh, I, you know, as as Mas Idam knows and Mas Ari know that uh, I have a long, you know, friendship with the two of them. And when we are together, we have such great deal of fun. And, you know, <laughs> we joke, we tease each other, irrespective of our cultural background. And I think this is how, you know, we have to be, um, yeah, we, we have to, to move away from those divisions that politicians and elites tend to drum down our throats or impose on us. Let's get out of this. It's forget about all oh, what color of your skin is. And as an anthropologist, I would say that all these kinds of things like race, ethnicity, uh, the cultural differences that have been created, they have been created, they're constructed. And if they have been constructed, we can deconstruct. And we can, you know, just look at the, what unites us as humans and not what divides us. Okay. Um, Anyone else? Anyone in India is concerned? That, uh, and no one asked me about uh, my my Indian background. <laughs> so please do tell do tell us about your background. Well, which if those of you yes. who think that I'm Indian, which yes, me... yes, sir, you have clearly mentioned that you are half Indian. So I'm very no, I'm not, excited I'm to. Not... Have... <laughs> yeah, I'm not half Indian. I'm full. I'm full Indian. Oh, so which, so so which part of which part of what India do you think I come from? I'm All so my, confused, but may, uh, maybe from the central India. Yeah, which would be my uh, my cultural maybe, Indian Indian background. Maybe one of the metropolitan cities like Delhi, Mumbai. I, I don't know why, but you have that Mumbai car outlook. <laughs> okay, quite close to Mumbai, but not directly from Mumbai. Maybe I was born. I was born in Malaysia, but look at my name. Where do you think I come from? Goa. Which part of India? Maybe Goa. 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 Gujarat. I'm Goa. Yeah, Goa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and my native uh, my native Indian language is Konkani. It's a beautiful language. Yeah. Tunche Tunche na kene. What is your name? Yeah. Oh. Moje na Alberto. Okay. Okay. So it's quite similar to how we say it in Kashmiri. If you say the same thing in Kashmiri, it's like Mitch now Alberto. Yes, I know. It's very because similar. Kash 
Yeah, because Kashmiri, Hindi, you know, all those languages are Indo-European and they, they're interconnected. So there are lots of words. I can um, I can watch uh, I can watch a Bollywood movie in Hindi, even though I don't speak Hindi, and I have no problems understanding it. Wow, that's so great. <laughs> and I can also understand a bit of the language that Najiba and Dilibar speak, which is Urdu. So there are lots of similarities. Who is my favorite actor? What, Bollywood actor? <laughs> yes, Bollywood. Okay, I'll tell you something else, okay? Uh, this is for you to have a bit of fun. When we finish, you can go and, and, uh, and search Google on YouTube, Bollywood, uh, sorry, Anthropology, Bollywood, Flash Mob. And, uh, and you will find something interesting about myself. Definitely will search that. It's Anthropology, Bollywood, Flash Mob. Or oh, Anthropology, Bollywood, Flash Mob. Maybe you can even uh, you know, type my family name, Gomez. And you will find some YouTube of... Uh, a flash Bollywood flash mob. Wow, that's so very nice. And then you will realize that I failed as a Bollywood dancer. <laughs> okay. So, you won't fail, I think. So. I no, think we are um, truly, you know, interested in your personality now. You're not only Indian, you are international. That is why you suit for this course. You belong to every part of the world, in either India or Malaysia, Indonesia. So it will be really interesting to have you as our organizer. Thank you. Thank you so much. But there is another part of my personality that I think I've hinted at, but not really... Uh, I will speak more about this later, but uh, Bu Inas knows that uh, I owe the Malaysian Aboriginal people in the forest who I lived with uh, for quite a while uh, for my personality oh, because I learned about the value of generosity, about gift giving, the value of respect for nature, peace. Uh, That's wonderful peaceful re, uh, interactions with one another. So I owe the indigenous peoples uh, a great deal. Whatever little wisdom I have, I owe it to them. You can speak their language too. Yes, I can speak, uh, I can speak Samai, so. I'm uh, speaking Jahai and uh, Tamiya now. Yeah, I can understand some Jahai as, uh, you know, uh, Buinas, you know that uh, I've also lived with the, the Jahai up in the, but I spent one and a half years. I lived in a, in a small Malaysian Aboriginal Orang Asli, um, you know, village. So I speak the language, I eat the food, I learn the culture, and that's from them that I learned about. I just people. miss all of them. I just miss the life in the kampong, in the village. In the rural. Yes, I, I miss I miss a lot because I have, see, I look at the picture of your background, you know, that's what I miss. Yeah, I miss the nature, you know, the, the simple life, you know, mm. you know, why we want to go and disturb their peace, their ecology, you know, why, you know, like me, when I set up the learning hut for them, I do not destroy their environment, you see, I'm there that's to right. assist them, you know, to support them, to create awareness. You see, the importance about education, you know, so that they can move forward together with us, you know, outside world, you know, and do not disturb their culture, you know, their beliefs, you know. So I miss them, the, you know. They have been yeah. calling me, asking me to go back because now it's durian season, the fruit season, you know. Oh gosh, I miss all that, you know, sleeping on the bamboo hut, you know, swimming okay. in the river. Okay, very quickly, there was a question about uh, the Surati people in Gujarat. Who asked the question? Sorry. Actually, it's, it's me, Afif, uh, uh, Professor. 
Yeah, uh, Afifa, I think the Surati people are, yeah, they're born in Surat, and Surat is, uh, you know, Gujarat. And pity that uh, Minachi has not joined us uh, today, but she might come. She's one of the participants, and Minachi is, in fact, uh, uh, related to the people in, in Gujarat. So they are, they are different. Um, the Goans, they are more closely connected to the, the language. Konkani is very similar to Marathi. So we are very much in Maharashtra area. And if, if the Portuguese did not uh, you know, uh, convert me uh, to Christianity and give me a Portuguese name, maybe my name would have been Tendulka. That's interesting. My mother, I'm a, like half Gujarati and Punjabi. My mother. Hmm. So Punjabi, Baba, it's yeah. a place in Gujarat near if Surat. You, yeah, if you speak Punjabi, Punjabi is he uh, speaks there Gujarati, are lots of similarity. Yeah, there is a lot of similarity words, uh, similar words in Konkani. I don't speak Punjabi. Okay, so the most common is okay. you. Okay, I do speak a yeah. lot of Punjabi. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have to... Kaal, that is a kind of greeting to everyone. That's true. Okay, we have to... Um, I, you know, it's, it's really very interesting to, to have this kind of personal touch. So please um, be free to be a bit more personal in... in when you're presenting and when you're talking. And um, the most important thing is, you know, enjoy this course. So tomorrow uh, we have uh, Gloria, uh, who is going to speak about peace circles. And Gloria is Mexican, so she will come from that Mexican perspective, but she's also very well trained in, uh, you know, she got a PhD from Castellón, the university where I teach once a year in Spain. So I think uh, you will enjoy tomorrow's session and I will pop in and out uh, tomorrow, but I'll uh, you know, enjoy the, the rest of the day, whichever, or night, or, and I see all of you tomorrow. Mas uh, Idam and Mas Ari, do you have anything to say? I'm good. Anything Sorry. to say? I forgot to unmute <laughs> my microphone. So just a few things. Uh, I've got some emails from the participant group regarding the connections. So I know I understand this issue. So just make efforts uh, when you are able to join the uh, interactive session, yeah, yeah, like you know, the synchronous meeting, just join this. Or now we'll post the recorded version through YouTube and then put it in my class so that you can always catch up, yeah, with all the sure. issues or the point that we are discussing in the in the session mm -hmm. in the synchronous meeting. But the, the difference is, of course, you know, Zoom is synchronous, it's an interactive where we can be, have a discussion, yeah. ask, yeah. Sure. And also try to like you know if you have a good connection when you uh, say a question uh, like you know open the video so that we can like you know see face to face if it is possible so that you know every like you know the other participant can also see the persons who are asking maybe who is asking questions yeah and then I think that that's it Prof just let me know if there is any issue yeah yeah okay. So another word in a uh, couple of words for you in Indonesian for today. Terima kasih. Thank you. So terima kasih, all of you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Bye, bye bye. Bye bye, Professor. Thanks, everyone. See you tomorrow. Amasama. Thank you so much. Goodbye. See you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.